Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Cedric the Boss Repairs. If you find this information useful, if you find this video helpful, you can always leave a like and you can subscribe. That's gonna go a long way to help us. Uh, okay, to begin, yeah, we have a, amp a car amplifier. It's a, uh, it's a Calibra Audio USA amplifier. It's a four channel, 1200 watts. Okay, this amplifier came in two days back for no power, so the amplifier doesn't switch on, and we're gonna I'm gonna show you how I how I fixed it. So this is the board of the amplifier. This is when you take it apart. This is the motherboard, the main board. So I will just take you around the amplifier. This is the input channel. This is the input channel, and this is the fuse. And here, here's the output side, here's the input, this is the, the, the MOSFET, input MOSFETs, and here's the output, the output MOSFET that regulates the sound that you get. Okay, so the system came in and it couldn't power on, but we got it right and now it's powering on and it's working 100%. So what was the problem here? The problem here was no power and no power most of the times begins from the input section. If you don't have sound, if it switch on and no sound, then it is the output. If it goes on and then it shows protection mode, the red light instead of the green light is also output because the power is on. That's why it's on. That's why you can see a light coming on. So if it's completely dead, no power whatsoever, the problem is more likely to be on the input section. Okay, so for this one, the, the problem was the power transition most MOSFETs. So so this car M came in with a with a power transition MOSFET with the number IRF IRF Z44N. You can see there. You can you can see there, yeah. But I did I did do a modification and I I, I, I put it I, I I replaced it with the IRF IRF 630N. So these are both um, these are both power transistors and they they, they, they have a, they are both power MOSFETs and they have a, 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 a VDS um, rating of 55 volts max ID 49 ohms RDS 17.5 mega ohms and. I choose to use the IR, IRF 630N because this one is more powerful than the IRF Z44N. So these ones are all shorted. I will just check it with the multimeter quickly to show you it's shorted and how it's supposed to work. So I will check one of these which are working and I will check one of these shorted ones so you can see the difference. So these ones are shorted and they're not working properly. That's why the, the M couldn't switch on so i'm gonna use today my fluke 107 to show you <clears throat> 117 sorry to show you what the problem is first of all you put your multimeter to diode mode on diode while it's on diode mode now you check for the for the voltage volt, voltage drop between the pins okay so i will go here now there's a shot because it mustn't show the voltage drop of that. So this, this is faulty, and I will show you how it should be. So I'm gonna check the one which is connected here on my system. It's not a shot because it doesn't stop; it goes further. It's just a MOSFET; it switches off and on. So what? In diagnosing this um, car M, I found out the problem was on these power MOSFETs. All all six were gone because most of the times they work together, and it's always better to also change all of them. If you have maybe two working and four not working, it's better to change all of them. Other car M's have this power MOSFET displaced in this side and that side, but this car M has it just this side. So after checking and replacing the the after replacing the the, the power MOSFETs. And you can see there, I soldered them, even though my soldering is not so 100%, but I did solder them, and you can see the power MOSFET, because I was getting a shot from this side, and the shot is just basically a connection from the two points of the, 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 
of the component so because components such as diodes don't necessarily need to have continuity between the two points like for example i'm gonna check this diode here and then, and then you see there's no continuity if it makes a sound like then it's a short okay so basically after changing the power um, um power mosfets then we plugged it in then it works so i'm just doing this video to help someone out there who has a car m that just suddenly stopped working and he doesn't know what to do just saying sometime you can open it up and then you check for yourself so i just want to connect it to my power supply and show you that it's the amp is working now 100 percent the amp has been fixed and the problem was just the power power mosfets so it's always important that when you're fixing a, a power sound uh, it doesn't matter what electronic component um, appliances you're fixing if you come across the transistors mosfets capacitors diodes it's always not you take down the, the the model number and then you do a research about that product and how you should check that product because every product has its data sheet online okay so it works 100 percent we're just gonna go on now switch it on and then we see it's working and also one of the main things that causes a thing not to work is the fuse the fuse <coughs> is very important because the fuse drive current from one side to another yeah this fuse is not the fuse for this car m but i just modified it for the video to show you it's working so i'm gonna put back the fuse in and i'm gonna set my power supply to 12 volts which i have already done on 2.3 amps which that's fine and then i'm gonna click on the output and if it's if this amp is working i should get an output on watts so i should get power in this system so i know this is my negative and this is my positive so i'm just gonna go there with my two points for my power supply and there we have power 8.4 watts and here we have also a light to show that it's working the car amp came in for no power but you can see if i take out one of the leads it goes off the light is green so there is power and it's working so thank you for watching my video i hope it helps you if you have a problem with your car m one day so thank you and i hope if it if you like the video you can always subscribe and leave a thumbs up thank you very much and have a nice day bye bye